Okay, so if you want a program to start up when you start your operating system, uh, I asked this question quite a while ago in a video. It was more than four months ago, but Mark Routledge uh, replied. He listed out this text I could use in Terminal to uh, start Plank Desktop uh, when Raspberry Pi OS started up. Uh, well, it was Raspbian back then. So I've adapted it to the Cairo dock uh, because I really quite like the Cairo dock. So let's install the Cairo dock first. So add remove software. Type in Cairo in here. And you're searching down. One of them says something about light, light eye candy, fully themable animated dock. That's the one. So I click on that. Apply. Put your password in. And we can close that down now. So now if I go to the start menu, System Tools, you can see Cairo Dock is there. Uh, it has some problems with the normal version, so you want to use the fallback mode uh, because it uses uh, less effects. So if I click on that, you can see it comes up with this uh, to use OpenGL, so I'll say no. Just click on any notifications and they go away. So here's the dock as it is. So if we right click and go to Cairo Dock, launch Cairo Dock on startup. So you'd think that would be enough. Uh, so let's close that down and restart. Okay, so that's restarted, but there is no Cairo dock. So if I just get that text back up again. So really what we need to do is we need to find the destination. And as you can see, uh, these were in the same place, but you just had to put in the name of the actual app. Now Cairo dock was a bit different because it had two different names. Uh, and so on Cairo dock, which is the one that doesn't work as well, if we go to properties, uh, you can see the name is Cairo-doc uh, and the file is Cairo-doc.desktop. But if I do on the other one, Cairo-doc, you'll see that it's slightly different. So file Cairo-doc-doc-Cairo.desktop uh, and then name Cairo-doc. So it is slightly different and I played around with it until I got the right settings in here. So, and if you wanna see where those files are, you can open up a folder uh, and you can go to go down to the bottom, go to user, share, applications, and you can find other things that you could choose to launch. So anything in here using this same method would probably work. I haven't tried anything else, um, but, uh, but it's the same sort of uh, procedure. So let's close that down. Let's open a terminal. And just to show what version I'm running, uh, sudo apt install neofetch. And type in neofetch. So this is the beta version of Raspberry Pi OS. And I'm overclocked to 2.2, uh, which is not too bad because I'm using this uh, passive case and it seems to be coping pretty well. Uh, so let's close that down open up a terminal and start copying this text in. So copy the first line and I'll put this in the description. Copy the second line, pop that in. Copy the final line. And that should be it. So if we now do reboot, Okay, so that's rebooting now, and it's come up with this notification because it's a Cairo Doc notification. So remember this choice and say no. So now it's here. Obviously, it doesn't look very good at the moment because there's very little in it. But we can go to Cairo Doc and we can go to configure. Uh, we can choose uh, themes. So if we want to change it, now I quite like uh, if I flick through the light grey simple. I quite like, but just to show you, there's loads of other things here. Uh, you can even have uh, one at the top and one on the sides. Look at that. I mean, that's uh, a bit full on. So light gray simple. Let's click on that and click apply and tick. And that's preferable to me. So if we go back to that folder, uh, the user folder, so user share applications. Uh, you can see we've got a load of our apps in there. So if we want to drag something onto that dock, we can do. And there you go. You can see that that's now put Chrome there. 
Let's go for add remove software. Uh, I quite like the mouse pad, the little text editor. Maybe VLC. There you go, and it's starting to take shape. Uh, so we now have a dock, uh, and if we launch something, we get this little blue, little tiny blue light underneath it. So if we want to configure it further, let's just close these down. We can right click, Kyra dock, configure, and you can do all sorts of things with this. So this shows you what's currently there at the moment and you can edit and play around with things in here. So if you click on something, you can see various different, so extra parameters. Uh, if I go to add-ons, so there's help in there, but uh, I've disabled it because it keeps coming up with notifications. Configuration, so you can move the dock around. Visibility, hide the dock whenever it overlaps any windows, and you can change that to anything you want. And behavior, all sorts of things. So now that we've got a dock at the bottom, you kind of want to maybe do something about this at the top. There's a couple of things you can do. So you can go to panel settings, uh, go to appearance, and we can make it look a bit more transparent if you want to keep things up there. Uh, and also we can do, uh, if we go to advanced, we can minimize when not in use. So now, we have this sort of very minimal, very nice, neat looking desktop. But if we do want to use anything at the top, we can just go up there and we can use this just, just the same. Everything is normal. But when you open apps, it's not going to show it at the top. So you've still got your extra space on the screen. It all looks very neat and tidy. But again, if you go up to the top, you can use these tabs just the way you normally would. Okay, so I hope this all helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.